With less than three weeks to go till Christmas, the holiday pop season is in full swing. Featuring great old favorites along with a few new gems. It's no wonder these performances are such a holiday staple in Boston, not to mention the featured guests. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle. Away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him explain, and he drove out of sight. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Who's that guy? (laughs) Joining me now is the man behind the baton for all of these performances, the Rudolph of the Boston Pops, if you will, conductor Keith Locker. I thought I was the Santa of the The uh, Santa of the Boston whatever it is. How many years has this thing been going on? Uh, As a regular series, only only since the 80s and even occasionally only since the 70s. We have this, I mean, all of us had Arthur Fiedler Christmas LPs, you know, growing up. We assumed they were doing this at that time, but it's really a rather recent phenomenon. But the great thing is, well, I've been doing it 22 of the you know 30 some odd years it's been in regular rotation and we've already got it's become such a tradition here we have people who came as kids I when this. i started who are bringing their kids back which I is i love this yeah and chilling and wonderful do, you only do like four dozen of these performances in like a week and a half or but three weeks counting? or something 40, how many is it 41 uh in the hall between november 30th and december 24th an additional four out in some of our outlying regional areas uh then Four performances after uh, after Christmas before the New Year. Do you feel cheated out of Christmas? I mean, I've been there. And I know you're having real joy. You can tell what's fake and what's real. Speaking of fake and real, from a few minutes ago. But do you feel you're cheated out of Christmas or no? I don't know if I'd know what to do with Christmas anymore <laughs> if I had it back. Uh, yesterday we went uh, we went tree shopping because it was one of the two nights I had off, and that's something that's important to do with your kids. Uh, that's the only thing. I don't I don't really worry about me being cheated out of Christmas. I love doing this. The only thing that bothers me is not getting to spend enough time with my kids at such a great time of the year when at four and six they are yeah. so primed for it. So what are the core things that are different, new this time, and what are some of the great favorites that are repeated? Well, that's always the balancing act, of course. We, we ne- neither try to give you an entirely new experience nor one that you can say, wasn't that what they did last year? Uh, a couple of beautiful new arrangements, a new arrangement of angelic carols, angels from the realms of glory, angels we have heard in high, uh, to start the concert, big fanfaric sort of start like we like to do. Uh, a really warm and fuzzy arrangement of, of Home for the Holidays and I'll Be Home for Christmas by David Chase, who is the genius yeah. who gave us the world's most popular version of the 12 Days of Christmas a few years ago. And, of course, that's making a repeat, too, because that, like, sleigh ride has become... Uh, that has become part of the furniture. Yeah, how hard? I mean, I assume it's, when you said that's the tough decision, there are some things that regulars who've been coming and coming expect to be there. Do you get anxious and say, what if I'm pulling something that that family has been coming for 15 years for? Oh, or do you have enough confidence I've, to just do it? I've done it enough at this point that I realize that I'm never going to make 100% of the people happy with it, and somebody is going to complain about almost any decision. But what we try to do is make sure that just about everybody who goes through those doors goes away going, wow, that was the person program for me. So. And, and by the way, the level, if people haven't been before, the level of fun, I mean, from little tiny kids to grandparents, it's just, it's colossal. Now, it's called the Holiday Pops, correct? It is. Has anybody from the Trump administration called and said it's got to be changed <laughs> to the Christmas Pops or no? Well, it, it was originally uh, it the was? Christmas Pops. It tur- changed to the Holiday uh, Pops in, uh, I think, both acknowledgement that there were other holidays being celebrated, but also in some political correctness uh, Twenty before I was here. Is that really uh, what it was? And it has been it's been talked about since. It's an interesting question. I mean, obviously, we welcome everybody, and many people celebrate Christmas who are not necessarily Christian. Uh, for instance, thank you, you know, very much. But for therefore, instance. you wouldn't have a problem with it being called Christmas pops either. No, I would not. It at its essence, it is mostly a Christmas concert. We are we do we have a beautiful Hanukkah moment, and I I think it's very easy to tie. The celebrations together. They're all about light. They're all about hope. You know? Number one in my bar mitzvah class, if you're uh, counting. Now, uh, <laughs> most people are saying, I surveyed some people in the street that, well, every one of these performances is great. Obviously, Thursday is the big one. That's the well, one that everybody's is, focused on. Yes. Can you explain why that might be? I can, because we are, yeah. we are joined by uh, extraordinary guest narrators, as you Who saw from uh, Mayor Walsh's appearance yeah, was, there. That was Walsh, He was okay, right? yeah. But, uh, but, but these two are, you know, are legends. I understand. Uh, by the way, I think they're legends, too. I hear here, this is, they're actually called back for a second time because they were so good last year. Here they are performing, narrating, Twas the Night Before Christmas. I have to say, I was moved. Here they are. Twas the night before Christmas, 
When all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. I tell you, he is really good looking. I mean, he is really Jim good Brady looking. Jim Brady and Marjorie Egan. I mean, you know, how could you get any better than that? How can you get any better and, than that? And I don't know what those things were growing out of their heads. But <laughs> I had to shave them off for tonight. Can we step aside just for one minute? You said something on the radio the other day that bears mentioning again, if it's not going to get you in trouble. Another you know, musician, fairly bring famous. It back up. He so. was born Robert Zimmerman. He's now Bob Dylan. Won the Nobel Prize for Literature. Marjorie Egan, I think, asked you in the radio what you thought of that. What was your reaction <laughs> to that, please? What did well, you say? Well, I suppose I said it in public once, so I can say it again. Yeah. I said, uh, I said well, it was actually not. I can't take credit for it because it was my wife's Yes, it was. Reaction. Blame her. What she said. Uh, I said, did you hear about that? And, and she said, yeah, weren't there any good books last year? <laughs> okay, Keith Lockhart, before you go, you've been bragging about the fact that you have memorized Twas the Night Before Christmas. Can you give us 30 seconds before we leave, You really please? want that? I, you I want wouldn't ask for it if I didn't run. No, I don't want you. you okay. do it to camera. Okay. Which camera do you want him to do it to? Right over there, camera okay. four. Go ahead. Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were snuggled all... The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And I... In my kerchief, papa in his cap, I just said that wrong, have just settled down for a long winter's nap. It's a lot harder to do on TV. It really is, it isn't it? But now I feel better for Thursday night. Keith Locker, I'm really looking forward to it. It is a great time of year and a spectacular tradition. And congratulations to you and all the players. Looking forward to it. Hey, Jim, it's always a pleasure. Thursday night, Egan and Bradley. Don't forget okay. that. Great. Stick around till the end of the show to hear a little more from this year's lineup.